Hello kids, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see 7th class science, 8th lesson, air, winds and cyclones. Question answers. Let's start. Let's see improve your learning. First one, fill in the blank. Wind is dash air. It is nothing but moving air. We call moving air as wind. Winds are generated due to dash heating on the earth, uneven heating on the earth. Near the earth's surface, dash air rises up whereas dash air comes down. Near the surface of the earth, what happens? Hot air will be moving up, okay, it rises. Whereas cold air comes down. Here it, we, we should write hot and here it is cold. Air moves from a region of dash pressure pressure to a region of dash pressure. From a region of high pressure to low pressure. Okay. It moves from high pressure to a region of low pressure. Next second one. Suggest two methods to find out wind direction at a given place. Answer. Two methods to find out wind direction are using anemometer second one a simple method is to hold some dust and release in the air dust will fly in the direction of wind flow third question state two experiences that make you think that air exerts pressure other than those given in the text experiment one when we fill air in a balloon it inflates due to pressure exerted by air when it is overfilled with air it bursts due to excess of air pressure experiment 2 when a banner is hung in open air it tears due to the pressure exerted by air okay next fourth question while constructing a house where do we construct ventilators? Why? Answer. Warm air rises upwards and cool air comes down, downwards. To make a stream of cool and fresh air to flow in continuation into the house through the windows, there must be some ventilators in the upper parts of the walls of the house. So, ventilators should be placed in the upper parts of the walls. Why? Because warm air rises upwards. So, it can go out from the ventilators and cool air can get inside. Okay, cool air will be flowing, moving in the downward direction. Okay. Next fifth one. Explain why holes are made in banners and hoarding, hoardings hanging in the open. Answer, air exerts pressure. If there are no holes in the banners and hoardings, they will be damaged. To make them safe, holes are made to give the air a safe passage. Sixth one, how will you help your neighbors in case of cyclone approaches your village or town? Answer, we help and cooperate our neighbors. Second point, we help in making necessary arrangements to shift the essential household goods, domestic animals and vehicles etc. to safer places. Third point, we suggest them to avoid driving on roads as flood water standing on roads might have damaged the roads. Not to drink water which might have been contaminated. Advise them not to touch fallen power lines and wet switches. Exhorts them not to go out for fun. Next one. Seventh question. In the daytime when we go to the sea the air blows towards us and does not go towards the sea. Explain. Answer, 
the land heats up faster than sea so warm air rises over the land during the day as it is warmed by the sun this can create a sea breeze which is gentle breeze blowing into the land so air blows towards us and does not go towards the sea during day time next eighth question which of the statements given below is correct write the reasons a in winter the winds flow from the land to the ocean b in summer the winds flow from land towards the ocean c a cyclone is formed by a very high pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it d the coastline of india is not vulnerable to cyclones a a is the correct statement in winter air above the land is cooler than air above the ocean as warm air rises a pressure at the place reduces and the cooler air moves into that place b it is a wrong statement in summer the winds flow from land towards the ocean <clears throat> this is wrong okay generally in summer season winds flow from ocean to land and third one that is also a wrong statement a cyclone is formed by a very low pressure system with high speed wind revolving around it next d there is also a wrong statement the coastline of india is vulnerable to cyclone because india is surrounded by ocean on three sides okay next ninth one read the following procedure and make your own anim anemometer collect the following items a small paper cup four small paper cups two strips of the cardboard 20 cm long 2 cm width gum stapler sketch pen sharp and pencil take a scale draw crosses under the board cardboard strips as shown in figure you can see in the figure fix the strips at the center putting one over the other they make a plus sign now fix the cups at the ends of the strips see here you can see how the cups are kept at the end okay color one cup with sketch pen all four cups should face in push a pin through the center of the strips and attach the strips to the sharpened pencil check that the strips rotate freely and when you blow on the cups your anemometer is ready counting the number of rotations for a minute will give you an estimate the speed of the estimation of the speed of the wind 10th one collect some articles and photographs from newspapers and magazines about storms and cyclones make a story on the basis of what you learnt in this chapter so this you have to do in yourself okay you have to collect the pictures of storms and cyclones from newspaper or any magazines and you make a story on this okay next 11th one interview i witness to collect the actual experiences of people affected by a cyclone a cyclone storm creates terror the wind flow is very high with lot of hearing sound small houses like huts and sheds collapsed there is no power to know the information about cyclone nobody is ready to come out to rescue the victims heavy rain causes flooded roads no food and no water to drink we came outside after the cyclone it seemed our village was a big river okay this you have to write yourself okay you ask anyone 
who witness the uh, cyclone okay so you have to ask them and you write it in your own words next 12th one more fun with air do the following act activities and write your findings take an empty bottle and place it on the table as shown in the figure place a cotton ball just inside its mouth now try to blow air on the ball to send it into the bottle and then try the activity with bottles of different sizes throw a challenge to your friends whether they can send the cotton ball inside the bottle by by blowing air so this activity you have, you try to do and you challenge it with your friends okay next 13th question blow out the ball and write your observations take a funnel and ball keep the funnel in your mouth as shown in the figure so here you can see in the figure so you have to take a funnel keep a and a ball okay you have to blow the funnel as shown in the figure you have to keep a ball in the funnel blow air through the funnel and try to send out the ball from funnel what happens have you succeeded in sending the ball out it is not possible because the air blown creates a low pressure under area under the ball this sucks the ball in the funnel and then place a ball on your hand and put the funnel over the ball as shown in the figure now blow air forcefully through the funnel and try to blow out the ball so now keep the funnel like this okay keep the ball in your hand and now blow the air what did you observe what did you expect what happens answer the ball did not fall down i expected that the ball falls the ball remained in the funnel next 14th one flow of air experiment take a large plastic bottle and two hold rubber cork that fits firmly into its mouth okay also take two glass tubes tie a colored balloon to the lower end of one of the glass tubes so you have to tie one balloon insert the glass tubes into the two holes of the cork so you have to insert like this as shown in the picture the glass tubes should fit tightly in the holes close the mouth of the bottle with the cork and seal it with sealing wax to make the bottle air tight the balloon should be inside the bottle as shown in the figure now suck air out of the bottle through the tube that doesn't have a balloon attached to it what happens to balloon why do you think this happened answer the balloon inflated inside the bottle low pressure developed this made the air to rush into the bottle as a balloon as balloon is attached to the other end of the glass tube air enters into it and the balloon inflates okay by this we completed this lesson question answers in next next video we'll see the next lesson question answers till then bye kids have a nice day